Nothing's worse than waking up on a cold morning and having a freezing cold shower. So today, I'm going to go through some troubleshooting tips on how to fix the issue if your RV doesn't have hot water. Starting off, we want to take a look at your control panel. Somewhere on there, you should have a water heater control and it should say gas. Or it might just say water heater and you'll just know that it is gas. You'll want to make sure that is flipped on. You will see it lit up like so. Some RVs, depending on the water heater equipped, also have an electric option. Now bear in mind that this is uh, this electric element runs off 120 volt, not 12 volt. Uh, but if you have that option, you will generally either find the switch right here, kind of right next to the gas, or sometimes this switch is out on the water heater itself. So you will want to pay attention to that, again, depending on how you are trying to heat your hot water. But assuming those are on, and that's good, which chances are, you know, it's the first thing you check, and you're like, Ian, of course it's on. Well, all right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to one of your faucets, and you're going to turn on your hot side and just let it run for about 15, 20 seconds. Um, and the reason for that is because the last time you used your RV, you had water in the line, and the water stayed in the line probably, and it got cold over time, so you just want to purge that out of that hot side. So after about, again, 20, 25 seconds for sure, you should have hot water coming out. If it's still cold, uh, then we have to start asking ourselves a couple different questions. The first one being, did you just get to your campsite and turn on your water heater? Because it does take a significant amount of time for that water to heat up. Uh, if you're using propane, it takes about a half hour. If you're using that electric element, it takes about 45 minutes. So you do want to make sure you give ample time for the water to heat up. Uh, again, you're just not going to have it right off the bat. Another question you have to ask yourself is, did you just run out of hot water? You know, is someone just take a shower? Are you doing dishes? Um, the average water heater size in an RV is somewhere between 6 and 12 gallons compared to the average water heater size in a house, which is 40 to 50 gallons. So I don't know about you, but I know growing up, my dad would yell at me all the time for taking too long of a shower in the house. So as you can imagine, in an RV, it's going to run out pretty quick. The next thing we want to check, assuming that your propane switch is on, well, that means we're going to have a flame and we should be able to hear that. Now, bear in mind, before we touch anything, You'll see something right here. It says hot. That's because it will be. So you know, I always recommend wearing protection. Wear some kind of gloves that are going to protect you from the heat when operating at anything that will be warm. And again, your water heater may be located in a different place, folks. This one is obviously on the campsite. Some RVs will have them on the off campsite, maybe in the back of the camper. Uh, but you will have a door that looks something similar to this. It might not be exact, depending on the brand, but it looks something fairly similar. So what we want to do is we want to open that up. Now, even without opening it, if you're close enough, you should hear the roar of a flame, right? You will just hear something burning. But if you're not familiar with it, maybe you're in a noisy campground, you can open it up. And you should absolutely see a flame in here, um, you know, assuming that your, your, again, your propane is, is running the way it should. Now, if you open this up, you, know, you don't hear anything, you open it up, you don't see a flame. Well, that means we have a propane problem because propane should be getting here, it should be lighting. So we wanna go check our propane. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna come on up, and just make sure that your propane bottles are open. Now, if your propane is open, there may be a chance that you just swapped out your tank, right? You ran out, went and got a different tank, or you had a different tank on hand, swapped it over, and then all of a sudden your water heater went out. And that's not super uncommon. Uh, what can happen is air can get in the line, and when it goes to try to pull that propane, it just gets a bunch of air, turns off, and you know now there's a big air bubble, and so it can't get propane to fire it back up. So then what you wanna do is actually head inside to your cooktop, fire up your cooktop for a little bit. Uh, that should help purge that air out, get the gas flowing again, and that should let you fire your water heater back up. If uh, propane's, uh, you know, or the, the flame's going, everything's good. The next thing you wanna check, if you are camping somewhere you don't have shore power, believe it or not, is your battery. The reason being is even though the water heater runs off propane, it still requires power, that 12 volt power from your battery to keep the coils open so that you can get hot water. So if, uh, if your gas valve isn't staying open, it, it's just not gonna have any gas coming in. It's not gonna function, right? So if, uh, if that is the problem, you wanna, to, to, in order to check if it's a problem, you wanna take a voltmeter to your battery and check what your voltage is at. You should be above 10.5 volts. If you're below that, 
Uh, you're going to have all sorts of issues with your RV, not just with the water heater, but that certainly could be a reason because, again, the coils on that valve just aren't staying open to allow the gas through. So, obviously, I, I have a, a jump box here, a battery box. I mean, I'm at you know, uh, 12 volts exactly. Uh, so, you know, a little under full, but still plenty in, in order to operate that valve. But again, that is something you'll want to check. Now, assuming that, uh, that that's good too, right? We want to come on back and, you know, maybe you have a flame, you know, flames going strong. So obviously that's not the issue. Uh, you ask yourself, okay, so my flame's good. My, my, you know, voltage is obviously good because the gas valve is open. So what else could be wrong? Well, then, believe it or not, you want to check to make sure you actually have water in the uh, hot water or the, rather, the water heater. Um, it's actually the most common issue when people don't have hot water is because there is no water in the water heater. So here's what we're going to do. First thing is very carefully, you're going to want to just tap this valve right here. This is the TMP valve. You just kind of want to tap that to see if it is hot. If that is hot, that means that your water heater is at least trying to make hot water. It doesn't necessarily mean you have water in there, but at least you know it is trying to make hot water so you're on the right track. Then what you want to do is take like a, a mug or a cup or something. And again, please be very, very careful because if there is hot water in your tank, you're going to burn yourself and you don't want that. So make sure you have gloves, make sure you're protected, but put a mug or something underneath here. Open this up ever so slightly until a little bit of water drips out. And, and that's what should happen. If you have water in the tank, right, run it, you know, just keep, keep going, keep going, keep going, you know, until you get about three quarter full on that mug uh, to know that, you know, there is definitely water in that tank. Now, if you open this up and there is no water, just like a, like a really quick uh, burst of air, stop what you're doing completely. The reason for that is because you don't have water in the tank. And if, if you go and try to put water in it, what'll happen is because you have a hot tank, and you're putting in cold water, you're gonna damage your tank, right? Depending on the water heater, either you're gonna have a glass lining, that glass lining is gonna crack. If, if you have a flu, it can break the flu. It's not something you wanna have happen. So why would you not have water in the tank? Well, what happens more often than not is you have a water heater bypass on the RV. Very common, super awesome for winterizing your RV. And it does exactly what the name implies. It's a valve, you turn it, and it bypasses the water heater so you don't fill up the water heater with a bunch of antifreeze. Because again, that's somewhere between six and 12 gallons. Not only is that a lot of wasted antifreeze and money, but also then you have to purge all that out and it can be a pain. So you would generally want to bypass that. Well, if you forget to turn that back, now you're just bypassing the water heater so no water is getting in the tank. But again, if that propane, everything's running, that tank is heating up, you do not want to put cold water in there. You want to take, you know, probably an hour or two, let things cool off, then go inside, find that water heater bypass. It'll generally be close to your water heater. You want to open that back up and put it in the right configuration so that water is getting into your heater. Now, if you do have water, right? You open it up, a little bit of water drips up, right? You fill up three quarter of that mug, you're still having issues. Then we're going to head back inside. And what you'll want to do is come to that same original faucet we started at. Now, you saw that the, the, the hot side wasn't working, right? Well, now what we're going to do, we're going to open up the cold side of the faucet. We're going to let that run for 10 to 15 seconds. The reason being, especially if it's a brand new RV, is it's possible that the lines underneath are switched. The hot and cold side are reversed. And so if you open up the cold side and you have hot water, that's exactly what happened. And that is a pretty quick and simple fix. The other thing we want to check is if you open up that cold side and it's still cold, it's possible that the plumbing is right, but that you have a bad mixing valve in the hot side. So we're going to want to check another faucet. So come on back, come back to, you know, your kitchen or your right, kitchen, your bathroom faucet or, uh, you know, tub shower, whatever it may be, but turn on the hot side again, let that run for, you know, 15, 20 seconds and check it and see if you have hot water. And if you do, then obviously you narrowed it down to the fact that you have a bad mixing valve. And folks, that is the, some of the best tips I have for solving the issue of not having hot water in your RV. If you go through all of that and you still can't narrow it down to figure out what it is, well, then it's going to be time to call the Good Sam uh, Elite Service Team so they can walk you through some additional troubleshooting steps, uh, or if they can't help you, get you into the nearest service center so they can get you fixed up and back on the road. I uh, hope that this, again, fixed your issue, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure you click subscribe. That way you can come back for more how-to and troubleshooting information.